Hi all, welcome to Die.3D YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see how to fix riprap discount full graphics smart controller problem while connecting to MKS channel 1.0. Recently, I added riprap discount full graphics smart controller as my second display for my MKS channel version 1.0 board. After connecting, it's not switching on. So, you can see here, touch screen is working fine. But this riprap full graphics controller, it's not showing anything on screen and it's not responding to any buttons. I connected these cables as per the description from X exp1 to motherboard exp1 exp2 to motherboard exp2 so i followed the instructions i connected but still it is not responding to anything and it's not showing anything on screen so to fix this problem first we need to do some modifications in marlin firmware file then we can do physical modification in these cables first we'll jump into marlin firmware file this is my marlin configuration file here you can see the version it is marlin 1.1.9 and if you scroll down you can see some settings related to your motherboard like here you can see it is uh, EFF this you can change it to MKS channel or based on what motherboard you are using it so in my case I am using MKS channel so I can change this to MKS channel but I want to keep this because I want to control LED strips and one extra motherboard case fan so I want to keep it this uh, motherboard configuration so If you go to this menu, you can see here boards. So in that you can see different varieties of boards. So in my case, mine is MKS channel, so I can keep this. But what I'm using is like EFF. So you can see I can use one hot end and one fan and uh, one extra fan. So one I'm using for LED, one I'm using for ca case fan. So, so my configuration is this EFF so when you can use this MKS chain and loss both will work in same way so but I'm using this EFF in my Marlin configuration file so get back to Marlin configuration file so you can see here EFF if you scroll down you can see the LCD display menu just scroll down more you can scroll down more so here you can see repair discount controller but I'm not using that so you have to scroll down more so here you can see yeah here you can see riprap riprap discount full graphics smart controller so you need to uncomment this so that uh, you can use that particular lcd controller so it will be commented so you just need to uncomment like this okay so make sure you do these changes in marlin firmware so once you do all the changes in Marlin firmware, just go here and upload into your main board. So now we'll see what are the physical modification we have to do it in cables. To fix this problem, we need to rotate these cables in 180 degrees and connect. So we need to connect 
this is how it is connected now so we need to rotate this in 180 degrees and connect like this so you need to do the same thing for the second connector so second connector also you need to rotate 180 degrees and connect back so to connect like that you need to shave one side one notch like this so that you are able to connect in 180 degrees so you can see here that is the original so this is how you need to shave that so that you can see here this is how it is connected now so now what you can do is you can rotate this in 180 degrees and we can connect like this because we done that shaving thing so it will go properly and it will stay there same thing we need to do it for the second connector so this is how it is connected now so just you need to rotate 180 degrees and connect back so I rotated both cables 180 degrees and connected back you can see here that notch is showing in this way because we shaved so it is able to fit inside that so you can see here so I reversed both means like I rotated 180 degrees rotating these uh, connectors 180 degrees can be done in uh, LCD controller or it can be done in motherboard so in my case I've done in LCD so motherboard is same like you can see here it is connected same way like where the notch is placed so I just changed only in LCD side so motherboard side these connectors are connected as it is so you can do changes either anyway now power run 3d printer let's check whether it is working or not finally display is on let's check whether it is working properly or not yeah it's responding so I can go to different menus and I can do some changes in axis whether it is so I just want to move it in X axis so yeah I'll click here so yeah it's working so it's moving in the X axis so yeah finally it's working now thank you guys thank you for watching this video please like this video and please subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much